So here we have the BMW 1 Series on a 56 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the speedometer. On the right-hand side, the rev counter and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. They're 107,418. You can change the information that's displayed uh, above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. Moving our way over into the centre just here, uh, we have the start and stop button for the engine, and you pop the key in just here. We then have the stereo for the car. So we've got the CD player, as you can see. Uh, we can also access our uh, AM and FM radio from up here. The mode button will take you from CD uh, to auxiliary and back to radio again. And we have the main volume for the stereo over on the left-hand side. Beneath that, we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can also increase and decrease the fan speed from here and determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in once it enters the car. This button will turn your air conditioning off, back on again, or hit auto. When you do that, the car will take control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Uh, to override that, uh, you can just make any manual adjustment that you wish to make yourself. We have a 12 volt charging socket underneath here and some storage as well a six speed manual gearbox and then all the way back here we have a second 12 volt charging socket and your auxiliary input all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to give us a call here at glenbournes we'd love to hear from you soon